new blog post last night and some excellent, excellent news revealed, guys. Mr. Sinister, finally farmable, available in the War Store right now, plus the full kit reveal for Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Looks like she's gonna be very strong in this X-Force team, plus some viability outside of this X-Force team as well. We are talking about all of that and the rest of the blog post and more in this video, guys. And if you're ready for it, you know what to do. Let's go smash it. Valley flying. What is up, Valley Maniacs? Valley Flying here. I am back. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a great weekend. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying healthy. Last night, new blog post on the official Marvel Strike Force website. We took a look at it in the live stream earlier today, and I read it live in front of the chat in this video. We are going to go take a look at that. So without further ado, guys, here is my live to tape reaction to the blog post from the live stream earlier today, guys. All right, so we are here. We are here live, actually. We are talking about the blog post revealing Mr. Sinister coming to the war store. We also got Negasonic Teenage Warheads uh, full kit. We're gonna talk about that, but let's go here. Let's go there. This is uh, probably the most exciting news because this is happening right now, guys. Mr. Sinister in the war store and that is very very good news because he's a very difficult character uh to get charged a very good character but the bad news is the war store is the hardest place to find a character so kind of a uh mixed bag here with this but i'm happy that he is farmable and that means that we will see some very crazy clones this is a character that is in the meta now and yes yeah, so if you if you see him in there it might be worth shifting to farming Mr. Sinister instead of getting some of those mini uniques. Now, if you've already done Dark Dimension 3, or if you're already in there and have the characters you need, I think it is a no-brainer to go and do the, um, and get Mr. Sinister. But if you're still working on uh, some other characters, maybe you don't have, uh, the, um, all your Inhumans unlocked, you need to go for Sif, maybe you need to... Uh, still get into Dark Dimension 3 and you need all those mini uniques, then you, you might want to wait on Sinister. So uh, it is good that he is in there, though. All right, let's get to Negasonic Teenage Warhead uh, taking out. We got our second kit of our new X-Force members. We are still waiting on X-23. Last week, we got the kit for Domino. Uh, this week, we got Negasonic Teenage Warhead. And again, like the kit that we saw from Domino last week, no numbers in this, so it's kind of hard to... Uh, say if uh, this is an awesome character or a good character or a trash character, but by the looks of her kit alone, looks like she's going to be very good. So take out your pent up teenage angst with X Force's newest member, the Elite Fim Fimster. Am I pronouncing that right? AKA, oh, Ellie Fimster. I guess that's her name. Negasonic Teenage Warhead is a mutant that could generate varying levels of explosive power. The energy she produces can be deliver delivered be via a small focused attack or a massive concussive blast. She slots in as the blaster for the X-Force team and brings the boom both for herself and X-Force allies. She detonates enemies with high damage attacks, increases X-Force ally damage on Alliance War Negasonic, also gains barrier speed bar on each enemy turn. That is pretty solid, adding an element of personal defense. So she's going to have the tags, hero, global, mutant, blaster, X-Force, which is not not anything that is too surprising. I think that is uh, pretty proper for her. And she does a bunch. Let's take a look at her basic. She's going to attack the primary target for damage. Don't know the numbers, so I'm not sure how good this is. But uh, just pretty much damage. No, no other kind of trickiness. No other kind of effects uh, for this. And since she's a blaster, we should some, expect some good damage from her. Not a lot of debuffs or anything to kind of uh, work the enemies. All right. Special particle charge, not on turn one. This is a three out of five energy cooldown. So probably could use this on turn two, unless you're able to get some uh, energy from outside sources. You're going to attack the primary and adjacent targets for X amount of damage. We don't know the numbers yet. And you're going to clear positive effects from each target. This is pretty good. Uh, in the right situation, this could be a pretty good move. Uh, we need to see the numbers, though, and we need to see some of her base stats, make sure she has enough focus to actually clear these positive effects from the targets. Uh, but looking good so far, especially for a blaster, her ultimate is Warhead. 
energy cost six out of six you can use this on turn one guys and yes very strong is that aoe attack for damage we don't know the numbers yet but i'm expecting they're going to be pretty good uh applying heal block for two turns so that is very good this is opening turn to heal, uh, heal block war offense and this team is built as a war offense team so you're gonna clear uh defense up on all targets and on war offense you know that there's a lot of teams that start with defense up so this is a good and this is a good move and this is uh the word was this is supposed to be an as guardian counter and so this is very uh appropriate if you're going up against the as guardian team the passive ticking time bomb on spawn you're gonna bury yourself for a percent of this character's max health so she's getting a little more health a little more survivability uh because of this passive on enemy turn bury yourself for a percent of this character's max health and fill speed bar so anytime an enemy takes a turn she's getting a barrier and she's filling a speed bar what what <laughs> that sounds like an op passive i don't know maybe maybe in practice it's not as good as it sounds but that sounds very very good to me guys let me know let me know how it is in the comments all right if this character has barrier gain armor so yeah if she's gonna get barrier every time she has on an enemy turn then she's gonna get armor every time so solid solid pass doesn't help out the rest of the team now we there, there's some stuff on war coming up but uh her passive just for her which is kind of good because the passives that affect the rest of the team kind of like a uh leadership ability that you would see in another game uh but she is a blaster i don't really see her as a leader so i think it's kind of appropriate that she's not really giving bonus to the rest of the team but those are the passives that i like the best now on war offense you are going to fill speed bar per x-force ally we don't know how much speed bar you don't know uh how much speed bar is being filled how much per x-force ally so pretty incomplete kit here right now in my opinion she's gaining damage we don't know how much damage uh x-force allies are gaining damage and again we don't know how so incomplete kit here but looking pretty good so far unless these numbers are so far out of whack i think she's gonna be a pretty good character uh in this team now the rest of this stuff is just a lot of damage so she probably could work outside of this x-force team and she helps herself so if you're not using her x-force probably could work uh in some other teams that you're using uh she has the hero global mutant blaster x-force tag so you got some theory crafting there uh what else do we got blitzes coming up frank castle punisher is having a blitz on monday and as we knew from uh before ironheart is having her blitz this coming thursday so if you're waiting to uh, replace vision on your power armor team that is when you can do it uh, uh extended relief so this is a good thing um they have extended the window to three hours again they did that last month because of the quarantine they extended that normally it is only two hours so i'm glad that they've kept this this was this is not new though this is something that they've announced previously in an in-game mail earlier this week so this is pretty good uh web of offers just some normal deals uh it's very hard to tell what these are and how valuable these are how good of a value they are for you until we actually see what they're for and the prices so this to me this doesn't really mean too much uh captain marvel milestones they are here right now but they're ending on june 10th so this is this is just kind of a heads up to make sure if you're doing the milestones then uh or you're trying to get some captain marvel shards before they end uh, and do those now and we got some bonus event coming up bonus events coming up next week uh phoenix is returning so very very good character there if you don't uh, have her and you're very close with your villain mystic controllers then i would i would try to push a little because yes she's a very good character if you could push to get from instead of six star to promote her to seven stars i would push for that as well guys so uh yes phoenix good stuff and we're getting some double drops for that to kind of help you to uh collect those shards uh for some uh characters here loki nobu the excellent excellent hand assassin that is always fun and hella this is a very valuable one if you have access to hella i would not even bother with hand assassin just go go for hella up to uh seven stars because she's going to be valuable in many many game modes hand assassin pretty much just has that value just for unlocking phoenix really really outside of that pretty much a trash character 
and you're gonna get a hand double drop event also and the good thing that means we are getting the relic hunter event so more abcs in your account so that is what is on the slate or uh, that is coming up this week. So that is the blog post, guys. So there was my live to tape reaction from the live stream earlier today, guys. Hopefully in the future, you could join me for one of the live streams. Uh, normally I live stream on YouTube every Friday mornings and then Twitch kind of random. So make sure you're following me there and make sure you follow me on social media so you can get notified every time I go live on Twitch or YouTube or a video comes out or whatever, guys. And hopefully you enjoyed this video more normal videos coming up monday with the mailbag video so make sure you go to the discord channel to leave your uh question there if you have one potentially it could get featured there the link to discord is down below and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did subscribe to the channel i will see you guys next time smash on that notification bell as well uh, so you get notified every time a new video goes up or i go live on youtube and i will see you guys next time once again, there are some links down below that support your channel. And give me a whole fist bump before you go. Have a great weekend. Valley flying out.